Going live. Got people in the wings. Not much of a pre-stream today because we're just going to bounce right into some music here in a moment. We normally do the pre-stream for the testing, but uh, we seem to have forgotten that. <laughs> it took me a minute to, oh yeah, it's not live yet. All right, a little bit of music. Get us ready for showtime. These are the days of thunder. We're going to make time stand still. Started. Let's see no, what not at all. Let's Sound see. like you were kind of playing with the styles you typed there. Right? Started to get better towards the end there. Yeah, I was adjusting it. It seems it was it was spiking off. Let me uh, let me play a little uh, bit more. He said he think it's fixed it. There we go. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I had to adjust everything down. All right, we'll give it one last check before we uh, start the recording then. Check one, check one, two, two, check, check. Squirrel! You. Checking, checking, one, two, three, four. There we go. Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah, I had to adjust everything down. Yep. All right. All right, we'll give it one yep. last check before we uh, start the recording then. Check one, check one, two, two, check, check. Squirrel! You. Checking, checking, one, two. Okay, it seems like it's working now. All right, then let's get this uh, show on the road here. <clears throat> Off we go. All right. All right. All right. Nope, nope, brain's not working. Get the brain working. Wind yes, it all totally up. awesome. Let's get going and get one. this going. <laughs> all right, let's get going. Absolutely. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for WordPress plugins A to Z, not Z. Hmm. It's episode 592, and we have plugins for fast indexing, security and firewalls, 
Easy MailChimp, Bible Up, Limit Mailers, Custom Logins, and Classic Press Options, all coming up from WordPress Plugins from A to Z. WordPress. It's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 80,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? Join us for a weekly, unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins from A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be hiding out there in the globe today. Coming to you direct from the oasis, deep in the heart of the Cowichan Valley. And it's a lovely morning here. We even had a little bit of sunshine out this morning. Right now, we're busy watching the crows and the starlings fight for the suet. And it's so entertaining to watch. All righty. Well, lots of great stuff for you, but you know what the heck. Thanks for sharing, John. Now get down from that soapbox. I do love that one. Yes, I know you do. It's episode 592. And we are bringing in the future of WordPress plugins, hoping everyone is keeping healthy and avoiding those nasty clothes that seem to be floating about right now. We have a bit of an announcement for everyone. We are going to be moving our show officially to Monday at noon 30. Well, 12.30 our time. Reason is because our clients need us on Monday mornings these days. So all our things need to be bumped so we can be there for our clients. You know, it used to be that Mondays were kind of quiet days. Now it almost feels like a super busy Friday. <laughs> Remember, this is a value for value show, meaning any value you find here, offer that same value back. We accept all currencies, including time and talent currency. And don't skip the end of the show. You never know what kind of amazing life-altering advice you might catch. And a special note to all of our listeners out there. What do you think about the way our show is flowing? If you have an idea or a question, feel free to share it with us. Don't be shy about asking. If you have a question or an idea that will make the show any better, don't hesitate to chuck it at us. If we can't catch it, we'll just duck. On to the art. So today is uh, from the artist Jay Salava. Again, it's an older one. I do like it. What do you think about it? Oh, I kind of liked it. I was looking for something, picking and choosing. Took me a while to find something useful, and this one stuck out. So I, yeah, that one's kind of cool. Haven't seen that one in a long time. So is that an older model, or is that a what, the modern art? model? The, no, the, the space capsule thing. That's not a space capsule. That's a satellite. What is it? A satellite. Oh, it's a satellite. I think oh, okay. it's a satellite. Looks like a satellite to me. I don't know. It looks you have a tough. Like a I, I, I think you'd have a tough time to putting a person in that. It's, it could be Windows on there. I'm not sure. I have no <laughs> idea. I thought it was a satellite. We'll go with you. You have more knowledge on the on the matter. Not really. I'm just judging from what it looks like. <laughs> All right. Well, I do love this one. It, if anybody out there is feeling inspired. You can hit up our site at wppluggins, a to z.com slash artwork and submit some artwork of your own. We can never have too much art and we would love to have some new art. Yep, that would be kind of cool. Be well, kind of cool for all artists out there that still listen to the show. And obviously there's a few of you out there that still listen from time to time. You know, if you get get inspired and you just want to share some more, we're we're definitely out of new art. So I'm, I'm digging through the archives, pulling up all kinds of great stuff. But uh, new stuff would be cool. You can also check out all the artwork that has been submitted um, at the same link, wppluggins, a to z.com slash artwork. On to the news. Alrighty, then let's do that. Please, can everybody be quiet? Please be quiet. Shut up! And now the news with Amber. So the first thing we've got, as usual, is the WordPress vulnerability report from February 8th, 2023. So first of all, for all those who are into testing, the WordPress core 6.2 beta is up and ready for testing. So you can check that out if you would like. The list of plugins to be aware of this week is a decently long one. The ones I most easily recognize are user activity, embed PDF, list pages, short code, zero MK shortener. There seems to be an issue with a few different short code plugins. So make sure you check the list out for yourself. <coughs> and you can find that list on, in our show notes uh, through the link in our show notes. Oh, 
Oh, hey, Hemdian said I might be wrong, but it looks like the Dragon Space Capsule from SpaceX. Oh, could be. Could I be. I don't really know. <laughs> Next up, we have WordPress.com is testing AI-generated images and content. So WordPress is currently testing two new blocks for generating paragraph content and images. And these are to be generated by AI. The two blocks are labeled as a and they're being called Jetpack AI, your writing assistant on WordPress.com. Could be great. Could also not be great. Don't really know yet. Everything is still kind of in the testing zone. If anybody out there has tried this out, give me a shout. Let me know what you think about it so far. And next we have Twitter outage uncovers more details on the upcoming API access changes, giving Fediverse a shot in the arm. <laughs> so Twitter has made our outage on February 8th, left a lot of Twitter users without the ability to tweet or send and receive private messages. Some reported receiving messages stating that they were over their daily limit for sending tweets. This has sent a lot of Twitter users off to Mastodon and Cloudflare's newly released Wild Beast. People are escaping the Twitter and moving on to other platforms for constant use, it seems, since they're removing their free API. And uh, you had mentioned earlier today that they've actually changed it from February 9th to today, February 13th, for um, for the removal of the free API. It's right here on this post. Oh, I must have missed that. It's right there in front of you, man. They, they announced that they extended the free access through the February 13th. Yep. I missed it. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Well, you know... It's happening today anyway, so... <laughs> yeah, sometime today, man. Sometime today, everybody who's been using the free access, including us, is uh, going to be shut down. Yeah, it's going to make for some interesting happenings. Oh, yeah, just a few. <clears throat> <laughs> well, what do you think? Do you think people are going to bail on Twitter? Oh, not entirely, no. But uh, a large chunk are going to bail on Twitter. You know, it's it's gonna make it's gonna make it it's good. Definitely gonna bring out Mastodon. Mastodon's gonna start uh, increasing in thing. I have yet to try Mastodon, so I tried it about a year ago. Just got confused and set my account aside. I I was too focused on learning other things. Yeah. It is a bit of a learning curve. Yeah. So if it is that much of a learning curve, you know, if Twitter gets its act together again, people will return. So. It's all about it's all about how big the learning curve is. I think people are getting tired of the learning curves. Yeah. I mean, it it's seems to be a lot of those the in, the internet is constantly there and they're not changing like they used to. You know, once upon a time when it changed, it changed in in easy stages. Now they come in and they wipe out everything you knew and change it and now you got to learn some it's like learning the program all over again from scratch. Yeah. You know, instead of like, "Oh, hey, we made a new thing, we moved this here." Another week or two later, oh, we moved this here. They just come in and move it all at once. So, at any rate. Uh, so next we have uh, Gutenberg 15.1 adds OpenVerse integration. So 15.1 Gutenberg was released this last week with OpenVerse integration in the Media tab. The OpenVerse library of openly licensed and public domain works has also moved to its own website with an updated design. It contains more than 600 million free use images and audio files that are now available inside WordPress's editor. I can see this uh, being directly connected. A very, I can see it being a very useful thing mm -hmm. for the future. Yep. Uh, you can follow our show. You can follow the link in our show notes if you want to read up more on this. Yeah, that could be very useful. Free, free. And Dean said, uh, but will moving to Twitter all turn to cure people of histrionic behavior disorder? Not in the least. <laughs> no, I think that's a human flaw. The interesting thing is on, uh, on um, Mastodon, it's easier to block people. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Good it's, to know. It's way easier to block people or pull servers of information because Mastodon is the Fediverse means it's uh, individually placed, you know, people start their own servers and 
you know, sort of like, you know, No Agenda got immediately banned from the Mastodon master list. Hmm. You know, because Mastodon runs a master list of blo of of who's blocked, and some people just automatically select that list so they miss out on a large chunk of what's going on in Mastodon. But it's easier it's easier to block stuff than it is in say Twitter or Facebook and there is no because there is no censorship, literally. None. You have to do your own censoring. Uh, next, we have WordPress opens applications for 2023 Community Summit. So the WordPress open source event will be hosting a community summit as part of the WordCamp US this year. This will take place on 22, 23, uh, on August 22nd and 23rd in 2023 in National Harbor, Washington, DC. This is an invitation only in event and will be the first one in six years. Last one was held in France 2017. The application to attend is open to all contributors, regardless of how long you've been involved in the project. So if you're interested in this, you can follow the link in our show notes and send in your application. Hmm. That could be interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, next is WP Community Collective Names Alex Stein as first accessibility fellow. I thought this was one of those feel good moment things to bring forward. The WP Community Collective or WPCC is a newly formed nonprofit organization dedicated to funding individual WordPress contributors and community led initiatives. And they have announced their first accessibility fellow. Alex Stein, an individual who is fully blind contributor, has been working with WordPress accessibility teams since 2016. And he, and he is the first recipient of a fellowship. You can read up more on this by following the link in our show notes. Cool. And then last for today is what Greek myths can teach us about the danger of AI. <laughs> now, I thought this was really cool because when you think about it, there are a lot of stories of intelligent humanoids peppered throughout the Greek mythologies. It, it, it's not something you'd really think of unless you actually make all of those connections. But things like um, the Golden Maidens made by Hephaestus, yeah, they were automatons. Automatons were essentially AI. And Talos, Talos is about intelligent machines in the hands of tyrants. And of course, everyone's favorite, Pandora. Everybody knows about Pandora and her box. When you think about it, it really is about AIs essentially. So you can learn a lot from looking into the old stories and grab some grab some information. Oh, apparently I'm kind of quiet now. <laughs> You're quiet now. That's weird. Yep. That is weird. T we didn't touch any of the dials or pegs. Turn your microphone around. <laughs> How can I turn my microphone around? If I turn it around, I'll be talking into the back of it. Oh, uh, well then turn your microphone up. I don't know. <laughs> Hang on. If I turn the volume up a little bit, am I sounding any louder to you yet? Yeah. Just a smidge, maybe? Maybe. Well, I don't know. Keep going. Okay. Well, what do you think about that? G garnering intelligence and wisdom from old stories of automatons? Oh, it's probably true. You can. There's a lot of wisdom and information in all the old mytho mythological stories. Myths don't come from nothing. This is true. They came from something else, and uh, there's a reason why they were written. The problem is, is we've lost the reason why they were written. We're writing, we're writing stories now that will become mythology. You know. Hmm. Harry Potter is a myth, as, a, as a mythological creature, oh. once upon a time, possibly real. That would be interesting. Well, <laughs> could be, but no, I'm talking other other things than that. But the thing is, is that there's there's other stuff in there. I can't, I think can't of help it, right it. I'm a Harry Potter fan. Yeah, I can't think of it right now. That's all right. Wrong place for it anyway. <laughs> so we have a bunch of extras here. There's some... There's some... Uh, and my brain just decided not to remember that word. Some hacker information, AI information, some uh, information on tech jobs and what's going on with them. All kinds of good stuff. So be sure to check out our extras in our show notes. Hang on, I thought we had 
I did, I did miss it. We also have some Classic Press news. So do we. So, yeah, Classic Press has a forum page for community feedback. If you use Classic Press and want to help improve it, then head over to the community feedback page and choose the category your feedback fits into and share. Cool. Yes, I, I knew we had that. I just somehow I skipped over it, even though it's bright color. <laughs> All right, on to our contest. All righty, we shall do that. It's a contest, contest. WordPress plugins from A to Z. Oh, stop for free! Yeah! Yeah, I can't hear anything. Oh, you didn't hear that? No. Okay, so we're having some other things here. We're being nice to AI, come on. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Hemdian had something there. Where he's watching. He's rewatching Person of Interest, one of my favorite series is on AI. Mm -hmm. it, it deals with AI in a very interesting way. I um, really like what they said there. I remember that episode. Yeah. Once everything has escaped from Pandora's box, there's still one thing left inside: hope. Yep. That's that's the whole story of Pandora's box. Yep. Is that once everything's left, the only thing left is hope. Got to bring the hope out and use the hope. <laughs> Hopium. Need lots and lots of hopium. All, All right. right. So firstly, we want to thank Simple Giveaways for being totally awesome and providing us with their premium version of for our contests. Secondly, we want to thank Steve Goodtime and Brent Matthews for creating our amazing jingle that we still use. And lastly, we want to thank Charlie for coming to our aid and rescue yet again. Another fantastic contest. Our contest for this week is a one-year license valued at $149 for Breakdance Page Builder. So this is a new platform for WordPress website creation with 120 built-in elements, a modern user index and workflow, and, and a deep WooCommerce integration. Breakdance is the ultimate website builder plugin for WordPress. So this is definitely something worth looking into. If you have a moment, you can go and check them out. We have a link to their site. And to enter, you can head over to wppluginsatoz.com slash giveaway. Definitely worth putting your name in. Absolutely. Time to dive into the meat and potatoes of plugin depravity. All righty, let's do that. <clears throat> All right, first plugin I've got for you here today is called Fast Index. And this is a plugin I stumbled across. I thought, eh, it'd be an interesting one. Check it out. If you're having issues, uh, indexing issues on Google, you want to might use this plugin working with the Google API. It helps you get your pages indexed much faster into the Google Index. Set the plugin up, insert the API key that you need to get it all going. And uh, quick and easy, every time you make a post, it sends it off and pings Google to come and take a look at it. Cool. Pretty straightforward little plugin. Thought it was kind of interesting, useful for those that are overly stressing their uh, search engine optimization. This might be a plugin for you to look at and see if you can help improve your SEO. All right, go check it out. Fast index, and I give it a four dragon rating. And the first one I have up for today is called Bible Up. I thought this plugin might be useful for anyone with a Bible-oriented site. What this plugin does is defines any Bible verse in your posts with a little pop-up. You'll find the dashboard for this plugin under Settings and then Bible Up. When you place any verse, like 1 Peter 3, uh, what is that little thing, the two dots called? Cool. Colon? Colon, okay, so 3 colon 15. There will be a pop-up that shows over the verse name when you mouse over it in your post, like on the live uh, page. And the pop-up will actually have the whole verse that that title is for. It's very cool, especially if you want to help people understand what you're talking about when you refer to Peter 315. Now they can just mouse over the Peter 315 and they'll see the whole thing like that. Yeah. Very useful. 
Um, I didn't have to put in any information. All I did was put in the verse title name and the pop-up automatically shows up. You cool. get to choose the color of the pop-up's background, the text type, text size, and you can make it possible for a dark theme to work with it as well, which is also very useful. So if you have a Bible site or a client who does, this could be very useful for them to add to their site. Hmm. Yeah, it could be. Nice. Nice free little plugin. I rate it at five dragons. Alrighty then. Cool. All right. The next one I've got for you here is all in one security, security and firewall. I may have covered this one sometime in the distant past, but uh, I came across it again while helping to update a uh, client's website, and turns out. This was installed in their site. I may have even been the one who installed it. It's been that long ago that I worked on the website. At any rate, this is a really good alternative to WordFence if you're looking for a security plugin. It provides you with uh, the security and firewall settings you need. It uh, also gives you some security strength meters and show you how what kind of security you have on your site. It's goes through and you can even set up to hide the login from page from bots, um, a login lockout, reporting, forced logouts, generate a visitor lockout, you know, a whole lot of different things in here and features. It's been such a long time since I've looked at it. I'm going to give it a really good thorough look over on the site and see, who knows, I might even change out some of my uh, WordFence places that I'm using if this can provide me with some of the same security as WordFence. All right, a pretty decent little plugin. It's a nice freebie out there. Go check it out if you don't have a security plugin or you're looking to change and you want something a little different. Check out All in One Security, Security and Firewall, and I give it a four dragon rating. It'd be very useful. Yeah, well, security is important when you're setting up your WordPress website. I tend to use WordFence, but uh, who knows? Sometimes uh, I go with something different for various reasons. Next one I have is limit registration by mail domain. So this is a bit of a different take on the registration limitation plugin. Once installed and activated, you will find the dashboard for the plugin under settings, then registration limit by domain. For this, you need to add the domains allowed. Not great if you have a wide open site available for anyone to join up, though fantastic if you want the site to only be for say a single company and everyone has the same email domain. This plugin only regulates registration for, you, for WordPress core, so other plugins such as 2FA plugins, BuddyPress, and WooCommerce could cause issues for registration. Be sure to double check that all registrations are working properly after any changes are made. The totally free plugin worth checking out could be very useful for you if you are building a site for one company and you only want people with that email domain to be able to register for this site, I could see it being awesomely useful. I rate this at five dragon. Very cool. It's time to donate to WP Plugins A to Z. That was kind of cool. I heard the beginning, then silence in the end. Well, that it's was definitely weird. It's. <laughs> It played all the way through, but to hear silence in the end is just bizarre because that's <laughs> utterly weird. And the starlings are winning. The starlings seem to have brought in a much larger flock than the crows. <laughs> so we interrupt the meat and potatoes of Plug and Depravity Edition to bring you our domation segment and to thank our producers. Since we just work here, it's up to you, our producers, to keep the show's larder stocked with time, treasure, or talent donations. If you need more information on how to do that, you can check out our website, wppluginsa-z.com, and right up in the top menu, you will see the definition for each one under donations. Special thanks goes to our freelance producers, who are always popping in and out, showing up at unexpected times. These producers are surely part of the reason our name is getting out there. Backroom producers hanging out in the lounge. Always about the place, consuming all the coffee and donuts. These producers earn it by helping out with our contest, artwork, site organization, notes, questions, suggestions, licenses, and by hiring us. Your time and talent donations are equal to your treasure donations of under $50, and we would not be here without you. 
and our War Room producers. With their donations of $50 or more, these producers receive a few extra perks. An official A to Z handle of their choice, a spotlight in that week's show for a short speech, an official executive producership credit, and you get to be part of the magic as it happens up in the War Room before we send the show out into the netherworld of the internet. Thanks for sticking by us and helping to keep the backroom producer stocked in coffee and donuts. If you would like more explanation on what um, what these uh, special perks are, you can find the definitions in our show notes under War Room Producers. Thank you. Now back to the meat and potatoes of Plug and Depravity Edition. <laughs> All right. The next one I've got for you here is... Easy forms for MailChimp. If you're looking to set up a MailChimp or integrate MailChimp into your site, this might be a nice, simple way for you to do that. It allows you to create up a very simple form, connect it to your MailChimp account, and then allow people when they register and sign up on your email list to be submitted directly to MailChimp for you. Got the integrations um, through, through WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, Contact Form 7, BuddyPress, BBPress, and, and that's pretty much it they've got listed. Nice, simple thing to do if you're looking for a nice, easy way to integrate MailChimp into your WordPress website. Go and check it out. It's Easy Forms for MailChimp, and I give it a four dragon rating. The last one I have for today is my WP Custom Login. So this is a great plugin for personalizing your website's login and only making changes to that. I found that a lot of plugins with this feature only have it as an additional feature of something else, or it's an add-on of another premium plugin. You know, there's not many options where it's just a customizing of login for your WordPress login. Or this one, you'll find the settings um, for this under, well, settings, and then my WP custom login. <laughs> All three of these have been fairly straightforward on where you find them, but sometimes it's very confusing trying to figure out where the heck the dashboard for the plugin is. And here you can change the following. You can add your logo and customize your title tag, change the logo width and height, define, define the login page, background color, put a background image, customize <coughs> completely your login form, remove links from the WordPress login page, or delete the WordPress text by default. Another cool feature about this plugin is that if you are using Irredent custom login plugin, you can import your settings. That makes it a little easier if you already use uh, Irredent custom login. It's a great free plugin, seems to play well with others. I rate it at five dragons. Good God, Amber, not another five dragon rating. I knew you were going to bring that up today. <laughs> I just happened to find really good ones today. How Jeez. could I not? I mean, you, we haven't used that in a long time. It's been a I long know. time since you've given all three, all three five dragon ratings. It's like, Has been a while. You got you. You finally, you finally got the hint after you heard that too many times. So like, maybe I'm over indulging these guys. Yeah, but these guys are these plugins are actually really cool. Oh. All right. Hemdian said, I've been using easy forms for MailChimp since the beginning of my brief WP career. <laughs> yeah, well, easy forms for MailChimp is pretty decent, so. They are. All right, so for Classic Press, they are still kind of at their crossroads where they haven't quite forked the 6.1 yet. So our Classic Press resource section is still good to go if you want to learn more about it. You can head over to our show notes and go down to our Classic Press section. You will find information on Classic Press, how it currently works, and you'll find a must-have plugins list, a repository, all kinds of cool stuff. We do actually have a question today. Okay. We had a listener write in, and they said, Hi, Amber. Thanks again to you and your dad for doing a great weekly show. Just wanted to get your thoughts on doing updates to WordPress websites. I know never to update a major version until the dot release comes out, but what about themes and plugins? Do you update them as soon as they come out, or do you update them of a weekly basis or some other time basis? Thanks, Andrew. Go for it. 
No, no. No, no, you get to answer. Oh, I got to answer this one? Okay, yep. well, yeah, WordPress core, you almost always want to wait till at least the first point one, point one version of an, any new any new major change. Um, as far as themes and plugins, you... It depends on how much, how often you're in your website. You know, even my website, the Oasis, which I'm into it, you know, several times a week doing stuff or fixing orderings, man, dealing with orders or dealing with everything. Sometimes I'll remember to update. Sometimes I won't. It's a matter of uh, doing the updates as reasonably quick as you possible. I mean, we provide a service to clients where we go in once a month and do the updates because you can do them on a monthly basis. And sometimes it's okay to do them on a monthly basis. You don't want to go much more than a month, month and a half on a very active website, because at that point you might have missed several um, updates to a plugin, and they might even have leaped forward to a new major version on you. And by not doing the point updates, you might not catch any problems that might have occurred along the way. It's always kind of whatever. At any rate, one thing you always want to do before you do your updates, make sure you do your backups. And Absolutely. You, you must do your backups. If you don't, the, the first time you go, oh, I don't need to do a backup, that'll be the time that shit goes massively wrong and you don't have a backup to restore to. So always do your backups. But yeah, it can be immediately. Plugins and themes, you can do them immediately, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, bi-monthly, whatever works. But try not to go longer than a month and a half. I know it's like I was, I'd updated the Oasis website uh, probably two weeks ago and I've been in and out and I hadn't been paying attention. I noticed I was in there this morning. It's like, wow, I've got 27 plugins need update again. They were just all updated up to date two weeks ago. So you just never know what's going to happen. So. Yeah. I found that the magic time between is about two to three weeks. Yeah. And I've also found that for a lot of plugins, when they flip over um, on a major update, I like waiting until they get like a point one. Yeah. Because by that, but if if you can wait until like the point one, I find that a lot of the kinks have kind of been worked out. So I like doing that, but that's not right for everyone. So it's it's really dependent upon your own preference as well. Yeah. So anyway, thanks, Andrew. Appreciate the question. Indian said, I like to be as updated as possible. Yes, there is a risk something will break, but if you don't, there's a risk of security breach. Yep. Swings yeah. and roundabouts, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of each. It's like but to be to to stay constantly up to date. It's like we've just finished we're we're just finishing the development on a website and it's like almost daily you log in and some plugin needs an update. It's like it's a constant. They're, they're constantly throwing updates at you. If you log into your site daily and you see a new update, consider, well, is it a major update? Go look at the changes because there is a change log. You can look at the details, view the change log. Always view the change log and see what they're updating. Sometimes the updates are nothing more. Oh, we're now compatible with this. Oh, we changed the text on this. It's some, some of those updates are nothing. Big nothing burgers. Other ones are major changes. Added this, took away this, fixed this glitch, fixed that glitch, fixed this security, whatever. Go, go read the, go read the uh, change log. It'll tell you everything you need to know. All right. Uh, we don't really have any reminders, except a quick reminder that we, as we mentioned at the beginning of the show, we are moving the show time to Mondays at 12.30 PST. No meetups yet. Uh, today's plugins we covered were... I covered up Fast Index, which I rated at a 4. All-in-One Security, Security and Firewall, which I rated at a 4. And Easy Forms for MailChimp, which I rated at a 4. And I covered Bible Up, which I rated at 5. Limit Registration by Mail Domain, which I rated at 5. And My wow. WP Custom Login, which I rated at 5. Yes, I gave three fives today. Nice work. We just had a major pressure change. Mm -hmm. My ears just went nuts. <laughs> there are lots of ways you can help to support the show. First and foremost, hit the like button on the YouTube channel. Go check us out on Facebook, or you can check us, or, or you can check us out on our site, Office and Donation, Stitcher Radio, Google Play, all kinds of places you can find us. 
And if you want to get a hold of us and you're interested in doing the brick and mortar kind of get a hold of us, we do have an actual physical address that you can send snail mail to. You can find that in our show notes or you can just reach out to us through email. Question and answer time. It's question and answer time with John and Amber. Anyone out there has any questions you'd like to have asked here on the show, send them in to me at amber at wppro.ca and we'll see if we can stump my dad. So first question I have is, say there is a plugin you really like and you can't find a replacement, but the developer is no longer supporting it. How long is it safe to keep using it for? Mm, that's hard to say. I have I had a plugin that I liked and I developers quit supporting it um, several years ago. And I think I've only finally found something to replace it, but uh, it seemed to work on fine. You, it's hard to say whether or not it's going to develop security holes or cease to function. You know, sometimes it's immediate. Sometimes they can go on for years, decade now, because WordPress has been putting out. Well, how long? Is, how old is this show? This show is. This show is almost fourteen years old. You know, so over a decade. So, yeah, it's hard to say. You can, the best thing to do is if you really like the plugin and you know how to code, fork it. That fork. actually leads me to my next question. Mm -hmm. Are all free plugins considered open source or only the ones that state it? Or are premium ones considered open source too? Can you fork any of them? Everything for WordPress is open source. Okay. Every plugin has to comply with the with the uh i can't name remember the name of the license uh with the open source license every plugin every everything every plugin has to comply with the open source license if it if all if the functionality occurs inside wordpress you know the third party services their plugin is open source but their service that their plugin uses an api to connect to is not open source so, but any plugin you can get in WordPress, if you buy a premium plugin, you get all the functionality, you can rip that plugin apart and fork it if you want. It's all forkable. Uh, uh, Hemdian said, if a plugin makes calls to an external site, such as the plugin's home, it's not safe the moment that site is taken over by someone. Oh yes, absolutely. There's that problem. There's that problem. A lot of the older plugins, they didn't make calls home. Now, a lot of them make calls home. In fact, that's what, that's what occurred last year, the year before. Um, there, was some, there was some sleazy company. They went around buying up all these large use <coughs> plugins that the developer had pretty much abandoned. They contact the developer, hey, we'll give you $10,000 for your plugin and its base. And the guy's like, 10 grand for nothing, something I built years ago. Finally, I can get a payday out of it. They went ahead and did that, and then that company went in there, updated the plugin, inserted a call to home, and and uh, started doing all kinds of nefarious stuff. I can't remember it all, but it was a pretty nasty time. So yeah, once the plugin's installed, it'll it, they can do all kinds of things in the background if you if they can get you to upgrade it. That's good to know. Yeah. All right. Well, I have a couple more questions. Uh, just after the closing credits, for those listening elsewhere, you will have to make your way over to the YouTubes to hear them. Absolutely. All right, let's let our girl take us on out of here. Reminders for the show. All show notes can be found at wppluginsatoz.com. And while you're there, subscribe to the newsletter for more useful information delivered directly to your inbox. WP Plugins A to Z is a show that offers honest and unbiased reviews of plugins created by developers because you support the show. <coughs> Help keep the show honest and unbiased by going to wppluginsatoz.com slash donate and set the donation <coughs> level that fits your budget. <coughs> Help us make the show better for you by subscribing and reviewing the show at Stitcher Radio, Google Play, and in the iTunes Store. You can also leave us a review on our Facebook page using wppluginsatoz.com slash Facebook. You can also watch the show live on YouTube, check out the screencasts and training videos, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications of all new videos. Follow the show on Twitter at WP Plugins A to Z. John can also be reached at his website, johnoverall.com, or email him directly, john at wppro.ca. Thanks for joining us and have a great day. Ooh. 
Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyright by johnoverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today. Next question I have is, is it allowable to start supporting a plugin that is no longer supported yourself? As in, give it your own updates so as to keep it functioning. Yes, that's called forking. Okay. You, well, I mean, you, forked, I was... you forked the plugin, put the updates into it, changed the plugin's name a little bit. And uh, if you're in good standing with WordPress, you can go create a... Uh, an account on uh, wordpress.org and submit the plugin back up to the wordpress.org account. And if they approve it, it's in the repository. Okay. So how, how different does it have to be from the original to pass as an original plugin? Mm, change the name. That's it. Really? Yes. <laughs> really change the name. Okay. It's like you can, you can, there, there have been instances where people have supposedly forked the code and took the exact same code and just stuck it back up there, you know, with a different name. Interesting. Yeah. It's, it, it's open source. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to change it at all. Change the name. You could even use the same name, except they probably wouldn't accept the same name, but you could use the same name if you wanted to. Okay. But I don't know why you would, you know, I've, I've forked plugins um a few times we've never re-released them because we just needed them to do the stuff we needed to do i know that uh the guy i work with on forking plugins uh he's going to be re-releasing some of them one of them i had him rewrite one it's not exactly everything i need once it's rewritten to the way i want it he can re-release it as his, as a plugin you know and his and his uh uh wordpress account me, I'm not in good stand at WordPress. I'm no longer allowed to be there. <laughs> Hemdy wants to know if you're saying forking or porking. Ooh, take your pick. <laughs> I did say forking, but I don't know why it came out porking, but you know, forking, porking. Yeah, I can see. I can see it. You know, if your if your enunciation's not clear enough, which can happen when I start to mumble. I always end up thinking of a giant silver fork rolling the the code around itself like pasta mm -hmm. whenever you say you're forking a plugin yep. <laughs> all right well that was all of my questions all right well that makes us a pretty quick show today we just it didn't does. have everything uh really big and happening <clears throat> i guess we can just go ahead and play some music and get on out of here thanks for everyone for showing up we greatly appreciate it all right Let's have a little music and carry us on out. These are the days of thunder. We're going to make time stand still. Come
that's all we've got now. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Adios, mofo. <laughs>